Hi, I'm Rob D from Property Hub with Rob B, and we're here to own up to our mistakes. At least the property ones, but to be fair, there's a lot of those. So let's go through that list. One of the first mistakes I made in property was buying at the peak of the market. So back in around 06, 07, I purchased my first property. Wow, was the timing good? The market was on the rise. I was onto a good thing. Well, it turned out in the not too distant future, I was massively wrong. The property I purchased was now worth less than the mortgage I had on the property. So I was in negative equity. And for somebody new to the property world, that was a scary proposition. Well, in hindsight, while it was still a mistake, I don't regret the mistake. And I'm glad I made that mistake because I still own that property. And even though it took a decade for it to be worth what I paid for it again, during that whole period of time, it paid me to own it. So while some people may see that as a big mistake, it's one that I'm glad I've made, but I can't say that for the rest of the list. And I can't even say that for the first on my list, which is that I took a tenant on without taking proper references. I know, here's the guy who wrote a book about being a landlord, making the most elementary mistake in the book. It came about because I had a property that was empty, and at the time I was really busy, not really focusing on it, and said, I've got someone who wants to move in, they're willing to pay six months up front. And so I thought, brilliant, problem solved, don't have to think about it, six months money straight away, fantastic. Problem was, the only reason this lady wanted to pay six months up front was because she knew she'd never pass referencing. So when the end of the six months came, she had no means of paying the rent, no intention of paying the rent, and also no intention of leaving the property. So I had to embark on a lengthy and expensive legal process to get her out of the property. So it was an expensive mistake. It was a really silly mistake. But the positive is that having been through it once, it's not one I'm ever gonna make again. My next mistake was trying to be too clever and actually not looking very clever at all because I was looking at the UK market and trying to pick out areas to invest in really early on in the cycle. So I was looking at areas that should become really good in the future, way before they were actually gonna become good. Hull was a great example of this. I got into investing in Hull really early because of the investment in the offshore industry, I thought Hull will come good soon. Meanwhile, areas like Manchester and Birmingham hadn't even started on their capital growth journey and were far simpler bets to make as far as property investment is concerned. And did I invest in those areas too? Yes, but I should have focused more on those areas early on and not trying to be too clever. Sometimes property investment is simple and you don't need to overthink it. I did and I've learned the lesson. What you do need to think about at the outset and throughout your investing career is your strategy and make sure it's the right one for you. And my failure to do that led to probably the most expensive mistake I've made. When I started out in property, the most important thing to me was building up an income. I wanted that so I could have the flexibility to make a career change and that was the right thing for me to do. Trouble is, as the years went on, my personal circumstances changed and the income was no longer as important. But actually growing the value of the portfolio over time should have been my focus. So I was still doing things like refurbing cheaper properties then pulling all or most of my money back out again which sounds brilliant. But if instead I'd used that time and focus to buy more premium properties in areas that had a better chance of getting capital growth, I would have ended up making so much more money and dwarfing the cash that I had coming in. So the lesson here is to spend time on your strategy at the start. Don't just copy what someone else is doing. Make sure it's right for you, but then keep reviewing as well. Review your strategy at least every year to make sure it's still suitable for where you want to get to. Now, after many years of buy to let, I decided to try my hand property development. Being good at buy to let surely means I'm going to be good at property development, right? Wrong. And the problem with property development, if you get it wrong, is the lessons are a lot more expensive. So property development with not enough knowledge is a bad combination. And that mistake ended up costing hundreds of thousands of pounds. Ouch. The lesson for you is make sure you know what you're doing and start small. I went into quite a big project straight away. I've learned a lot of lessons, but I paid a lot of money for those lessons you can have them for free. And in case you need that lesson emphasised, I've had my own expensive lesson when it comes to property development. I knew that I didn't know that much about property development, but I partnered with someone who'd done it countless times before. So I thought that when we found a site that on paper had well over £100,000 worth of profit in it, surely even if lots of unexpected things went wrong, we would still come out okay. Not the case. The mistake we made was we were far too optimistic about what the build would cost. And as a result, that profit was never really there in the first place. 
Luckily, because of his experience, we didn't lose money, but it's a painful and miserable experience working on a stressful project for a year and a half and coming out of it with nothing really to show for it. So as Rob said, when it comes to property development, the lessons tend to be very expensive ones. So please learn from our mistakes so you don't have to make one of your own. So I hope you enjoyed that. We didn't. <laughs> no, but as long as you learn from our mistakes, then that's okay. Are you prepared to own up to your own mistakes? Maybe you could do that in the comments, but definitely subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you get notified of our next video.